Hello, a great, lovely, rainy and very enchanting evening once again. So, lots of requests, lots of requests, lots of requests were being made of late, actually, especially with respect to Section D, December 2021. Lots of requests I have been receiving, as I told you, this question is of December 2021, and many among you were quite interested in having solution to this particular question. Correct Section D case study question. So, today we have decided to take it up just to satisfy your request and satisfy your curiosity both although happens to be pretty long question no doubt about that and at the same time pretty strong question for the student fraternity at at least now in this particular question let's have a look first of all here it states that the shar and tashika limited provides you the following information of course this particular question relates to earning per share that is as20 on 1 2020 <coughs> they are having what we call in the beginning 5 lakh number of share. These are number of share, not in rupee terms, but in numbers. Then on 1st of June 2022, they issued shares for cash. 1 lakh 20 thousand shares have been issued for cash. You have to now <coughs> take care of the dates. Very important. Very important. You have to take care of the dates. Correct. And then further it is mentioned in the question that on 1-7-2022, that is very next, next month, they issued some share to the underwriters and then they bought back shares 2,69,250, that is 1-8-2020. And then again on 1st of September, they issued share for <coughs> against purchase of building, correct, that is 30,000. And then very next month, they issued shares in settlement of a liability, that is 15,000. Now, in here, it is written that Tushar and Tashika Limited, they acquired or purchased Y Limited on the basis of intrinsic value of share of both the companies. The intrinsic value of share of Tushar and Tashika Limited and Y Limited are Rs. 60 and Rs. 50. Try to understand this particular point first of all. What does this particular point state? This particular point states that Tushar and Tashika Limited Correct, they are acquiring the business of Y Limited. An intrinsic value of share of Tushar and Tashika Limited happens to be rupees 60. An intrinsic value of Y Limited is equal to 15. Because intrinsic value of Tushar and uh, Tushar and Tashika Limited is higher in comparison to this company's intrinsic value. Now the ratio of exchange will be equal to 1 is to 4. If you remember <clears throat> when I was taking classes in with respect to India 103, even over there we talked a lot and at great length with respect to intrinsic value of share. Correct? So it means, first of all, what does it show? It shows that Tushar Limited, Tushar Limited, because their intrinsic value is higher. Correct? It means actually this company, Tushar and Tashika Limited, will issue only one share against Y Limited's four share. That is the meaning of four is to one. And <clears throat> that means for your four shares, we are going to issue you only one share. Why? Because our shares intrinsic value is 60. We are going to issue you only one share. So one into 60 is equal to 60. An intrinsic value of your four share at the rate of 15 per share is equal to 60. So Whenever you get the what we call ratio, simply crisscross it so that you get a better idea. It means for your one share, we are going for your we are going to issue you only one share for your four shares. Now, total number of shares of Y Limited is equal to four lakh eighty thousand. <clears throat> so there are four lakh eighty thousand shares, and for every four shares divided by four, we will issue you only one share that is equal to one lakh twenty thousand shares. So basically on 1-11-2020, it means Tushar and Tashika Limited issued 1,20,000 shares. 1,20,000 shares, correct, to Y Limited. Then further it is given a splitting of shares into shares of rupees 10 each. What does it mean, a splitting of share? A splitting of shares. Suppose, suppose I have got 1,000 share and face value of one share is equal to 100. Correct? That means total 1 lakh worth of share I am having right now. Let us say if I split them into 
10 rupee share indirectly it means now number of share will be equal to 10,000 but at the rate of 10 there will be no change in the face value total face value in rupee terms but there will be change in number earlier we were having 1000 share now we are having 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each that is what we mean by a split of share just to make you understand the meaning of this actually I explained this correct and then <clears throat> further it is given bonus issue is also given on 1 1 2021 the splitting of share is done on 1 1 2 1 12 2020 and on 1 1 2021 bonus shares were issued so first of all without going through rest of the line first of all let me do the treatment only till up to this particular point in this particular question is it clear to you now let's have a look actually how to solve this particular question on the basis of the information which we have just gone through first of all i will have to compute calculation of weighted average number of shares correct and we have done it at great length when we were discussing what we call concept of earning per share under as 20 so it is very simple on 1 4 2020 we are having 5 lakh share so weighted number of if i am going to compute the weighted number of share i will have to take the weighted period in months so this share must have been used for 12 months so 12 by 12 that is 5 lakh correct 5 lakh similarly on 1 6 2020 it is given in the question that we we have issued some share in the form of uh, on 1 6 2020 we issued shares for cash that is equal to 1 lakh 20 thousand so you have to take into account the date very clearly correct so 1 lakh 20 thousand so 1 lakh 20 thousand because you issued on 1 6 2020 in the current year you must have used them for 10 months so that is why i will write i will multiply it 1 lakh 20 with 10 and divide it by 12 to get what we call effective number of share that is 1 lakh similarly on 1 7 2020 we gave shares to underwriters but because these shares were issued on 1 7 2020 so period remaining is nine months so effective or weighted number of share will be 4500 on this particular date 1 8 2020 we bought back 2 lakh 69250 we bought back it is a case of buyback so we will have to subtract it into 8 by 12 correct and whatever figure you get you will have to subtract it similarly on 1 9 2020 we issued actually 30,000 shares i have forgotten for which purpose we have issued uh, on 1 10 2020 30,000 shares were issued for purchase of building for purchase of building point is that we have issued shares on 1 9 2020 so seven months are remaining so 17,500 will be effective number similarly in settlement of liability you issued on 1 10 2020 15,000 shares so period <coughs> period in this case because you have issued these shares on 1 10 2020 so that means remaining period is six months so 7500 and 1 11 2020 i told you tushar and tashika limited actually acquired y limited and in order to acquire y limited we will have to issue them share total number of shares of y limited is equal to 420 for every four share we are giving only one share so that means we are issuing one lakh twenty thousand share into five by twelve total fifty thousand by adding all these things now you will get weighted uh, weighted average number of share that is equal to five lakh is it clear to you or not now further it is given that on 1 12 2020 there is a splitting up a splitting up are you getting my point or not so th there is a splitting up of shares so in order to splitting of share now the share is of rupees 10 each so total worth of 5 lakh share at the rate of 100 will be equal to this much 5 lakh into 100 as i told you earlier and then you divide it by 10 because now you are indirectly splitting up means now you are splitting the shares into face value of 10 from 100 so ultimately the face value will remain same it will have no impact but only thing is that your number of share which were earlier 5 lakh now it will be equal to 50 lakh so number of share will increase because earlier your share was worth rupees 100 each but now your shares are worth rupees 10 each so we may say that weighted average number of share outstanding is 50 lakh because of split up now is it clear to you not only this on 1 1 2021 we made a bonus issue because now our shares are 50 lakh and bonus issue is in the ratio of 1 is to 2 so into 1 by 2 that means 25 lakh more shares we are going to issue so total weighted average number of share will be equal to 75 lakh is it clear to you or not 
Is it clear? So this should be your first and major target. Now what else the question is asking and given information? Question has given information that where is the after this the question has given that there are 12% convertible debentures of 100 each. Correct? Number of 12% convertible debentures of 100 each is equal to 1 lakh. So this company might be having some debentures in which are convertible. Interest on debentures since the issue, since the issue date, issue of debenture is equal to 3 lakh. Further, it is given that conversion ratio of debenture is actually 10 per debenture. That means as per our original agreement, when this company had earlier issued the debenture, it must have committed them that we are going to convert your debenture, correct? And conversion ratio is 10 share per debenture. That means for every one debenture, we are going to issue you 10 debenture. Now the important point is that net profit for the year ended given to you 2020 is 85 lakh and net profit for the year ended that is the current year because the current year is starting on 1-4-2020 and ending on 31st of 3-2021 uh, 31st 3-2022 this is your current year so net profit for the current for the year ended 2021 is actually 1 lakh 10,000 your current year actually is starting on 1-4-2020 and ending on 31st of 3, 2021. I'm sorry. So net profit is actually 110 lakh. Tax rate given to you is as 30%. Now there are 10% cumulative preference shares of 100 lakhs. Because they are cumulative preference shares, the standard says that when we compute net profit attributable to equity shareholder, we must subtract the preference dividend provided preference dividend are cumulative. For example, our net profit for the year ended is 110 lakh and 10% cumulative preference share is equal to this much. Correct? That is 100 lakh. If I am going to compute the what we call dividend, 10% dividend, the preference dividend will be equal to how much? Your preference dividend will be equal to 10% of 10% of this figure. Just wait, the mic was about to fall. The preference dividend was equal to 10 lakh. 10% of this figure because net profit for the year ended given as 1 lakh 110 lakh so I am going to subtract this 10 lakh preference dividend to find out profit attributable to equity share so profit attributable to equity share will be equal to 100 lakh for the current year and your last year is 1920 correct last year's profit 85 lakh is given now, what is the profit available to equity shareholder for the current year? Your answer should be 100 lakh. Besides that, we have been given in this question 12% non-cumulative preference share. Now, in case of non-cumulative preference share, as we know, that if we do not pay the dividend, that dividend will not be subtracted, neither it will get accumulated. Question is further given that no dividend has been paid on preference share since last three years. So, it will not make any problem, but the problem is with respect to 10% cumulative preference share. So current year's dividend, I must subtract while computing profits attributable to equity shareholders. So now we have computed the weighted average number of shares. So now we are in a position to compute the basic earning per share for 2020-21. Correct? This is our current year. I have just told you, in fact, this is also answer to your question number one because your question number one is asking what is the amount of profit available for equity share or attributable to equity share. So your answer is 100 lakhs and you should know that how you drove out actually 110, uh, 100 lakh because in the question you are given 110 lakh. You have subtracted 10 lakh worth of preference dividend. So net profit available is 100 lakh. And weighted average number of share we have already computed that is equal to 75 lakh. Simply by dividing it, you are going to get 1.33. So this will become your basic earning per share. And this is answer to third point. Because in the third point, they have asked actually what is the basic earning per share for the current year. So that is equal to 1.33. All the answers are absolutely correct. All answers are absolutely correct except the last one. But I don't think that is a mistake on part of the institute. The last answer institute has printed as one. Actually, it should be 10 per share. Otherwise, all the answers are correct. Correct. I have rectified the same also. So it has consumed actually near about four to five hours of mine to detect that particular mistake. Anyway, diluted earning for 2020-21. Now we have to we have to find out what we call diluted earning for the year 2021. Correct. 
Net profit for the year is 100 lakh, which we have already seen. Now, we know that some of the debenture will get converted into equity share. Some of the debenture will get converted into equity share. So, we will have to add interest on debenture. How much interest actually there will be on the debenture? There are 1 lakh debenture. And 1 debenture is actually of worth rupees 100 lakh. Correct? One debenture is rupees hundred. Worth rupees hundred. Just wait. Let me check it up also. It is given in the question that twelve percent convertible debentures of hundred each are also given to you. Is it clear to you or not? So all these things are given here in the question. Just wait. Actually, I'm looking at something. Just wait. So net profit for the year is actually 100 lakh. And now when debenture will get converted into equity share, try to understand this particular point. Interest on debenture, if I am going to compute, correct? Interest on debenture, 1 lakh debenture, face value is 112%. Total interest will be equal to how much? Total interest actually comes down to... I think it is. it comes down to 12 lakh. It comes down to 12 lakh. Now here the point you need to note is, in the question it is given that interest on debentures since the time of issue, correct, since the time of issue actually is 3 lakh. Interest on debentures since issue. So whenever we must have had issued these debentures, logically, indirectly, it means we must have had issued these debentures 3 months back. Because if 12 months interest is 12 lakh, then 3 months interest will be equal to 3 lakh. So that is how I can derive that these debenture must have issued 3 months back. Correct? So anyway, this was the point actually I was trying to figure out. So 1 lakh into 100. 1 lakh into 100 is your total worth of debenture. And then you are going to multiply it with 12% interest and 3 months interest because I have already told you how I have been able to find out that these debenture must have been issued 3 months back because interest amount is already given to you honestly speaking. So if 12 months interest is equal to 12 lakh, quite obviously 3 months interest will be equal to 3 months. Correct? Now, why I am going to add interest? Because if these debentures will get converted into equity share, they will, there will be saving. We need not require to pay the interest then, isn't it or not? So that is why we are going to add the interest. But remember one thing, when, when presently we are writing interest, because presently they are, these debentures are with us, so when we were, when we are preparing our profit and loss account, quite obviously the amount of interest must be actually shown towards the debit side. So when you are showing the interest towards the debit side, your tax liability will, your tax liability is also getting reduced because of interest expenses. But now we are adding back interest on the presumption that once this debenture will get converted into equity share, then entity need not require to pay interest expense. So that is why we are going to add interest expense. But at the same time, what will happen? The tax saving which we were getting earlier will be no more. Are you getting my point or not? So that is why I am going to add the interest on debenture, but I am also going to add tax on debenture interest. This is debenture interest. Correct? You are going to add what we call tax rate. Now you will find out 30% of what we call 3 lakh that is equal to 90,000. So that means your net profit will Due to interest, your net profit will increase, but due to what we call wiping out of your tax saving, your profit will now get reduced by 90,000, that is 30% of 3 lakh, that is 90,000. Is it clear to you? Now, what we get, that is equal to, it is known as adjusted earning, or we can simply, so, simply say this is net profit attributable to, attributable to equity shareholders, attributable 
to shareholders. So this equity shareholder, because out of hundred lakh we have already out of hundred and ten lakh we have already subtracted over ten lakh worth of preference dividend. So this is your net profit attributable to shareholder. And one one of your question is for diluted earnings, what is the amount of net profit attributable to equity shareholder? I have also written here answer four. So this is your answer four. 102 lakh 10,000. Is it clear to you, sir? Clear to you? So now, net profit available, we have found out. We have now got weighted average number of shares. Weighted average number of shares we computed for basic earning. Remember one thing, for basic earning we computed as 75 lakh. Correct? We have already computed that. But, just a moment ago, we have seen that there are 1 lakh debentures and they have the potential to become equity shareholders. So we have to add what we call potential equity shares, isn't it or not? In order to compute the diluted earning per share, we need to take into account adjusted profits for equity shareholders and we have to divide it by what we call total number of weighted average number of share plus potential equity shares. So total number of weighted average shares we are already having but now one lakh debenture will get converted into equity share and to each debenture we are going to issue 10 equity share. So total equity share will be one lakh into 10. Correct? That is equal to 10 lakh. But you must understand that you will have to keep the same time frame in your mind because these debentures were issued three months back. So you will have to multiply it by three, three by 12. This is also very important. So 2 lakh 50,000. Now your total weighted average number of equity share will be equal to 77 lakh 5,000. Is it clear to you or not? This is also answer to your second. 77 lakh 50,000. So total profits attributable is equal to this much. And total number of shares which you are going to consider now to compute diluted earning will be equal to 77 lakh 50,000. So by dividing what we call this figure by 77 lakh 50,000, you are going to get diluted earning per share 1.3174. So again, this answer is also, in, in fact, all the answers are correct. And finally, question has also asked what we call compute adjusted earning per share for 2019 and 20 adjusted earning per share for last year. Now profit for the last year is 75 lakh. Actually we have been given 85 lakh worth of profit but you will have to subtract 10 lakh worth of dividend. So your profit for last year will be considered as 75 lakh. Correct? 85 lakh minus 10 minus 10 percent preference dividend. And weighted average number of shares we have already computed 75 lakh. Is it clear to you or not? Now you know that company has issued some bonus share and whenever we issue bonus share, we have to restate the earning per share of the last year also. So first of all, let me add to this figure the bonus issue, 5 lakh plus 5 lakh into 1 by 2. See actually, our bonus issue will be equal to 7 lakh 50,000. Are you getting my point? After the bonus issue, our total number of share will be equal to 7 lakh 50,000. I'm very sorry. Weighted average number of share outstanding for basic 75 lakh is given, but I will have to restate the earnings and it will be equal to, that is net profit for the year divided by 5 lakh plus this much, it will be equal to 7 lakh 50,000. So your earning will be equal to 10 lakh. Why actually? Just let me clar clarify it. Net profit. Net profit for last year is 75 lakh, 85 lakh minus preference dividend. And number of share, last year we were having number of shares, last year we were having actually 5 lakh. We have to restate the earning whenever we are going to make a bonus issue. So bonus issue in the ratio of what we call for each, for every two share we are offering one share as bonus issue, so 2 lakh 50,000. So after the bonus issue, number of share will be equal to 7,50,000. Now I will have to divide 7,50,000 by 750. So adjusted earning will be equal to 10. This is how we have to solve this particular question. Now many among you were feeling that this question is very complicated. No doubt for everyone, that is why no other faculty has dared to give a sol solution to these type of questions. In fact, to any of the questions with respect to what we call uh, all these suggested questions. So on demand, I am solving this question under extreme 
pressure situation. Why? Because time has time is extremely constraining. Extremely constraining. You people simply message it. Problem is that you never understand the predicament, uh, whether we are having time or not. But anyway, at the same time, it is our duty to our duty to see to it that each and every one and every student or every course gets complete comprehensive amount of satisfaction so we have tried it out and fortunately in this case all the answers no complaints all the answers are absolutely correct correct so quite obviously each one of you would now message me sir please upload this particular sheet this particular sheet will be uploaded and tomorrow at 11 a.m you can download it from my telegram channel correct so this is all for the day in this particular session